And I feel really, really bad for you if compliments are so foreign that you feel the need to insult someone for complimenting someone else. Have I been to Seattle? I, yeah, I have been to Seattle a really long time ago. Yeah, I know. I, I have read before. I mean, obviously I'm not a man, so I don't know, but I've read that like men often report that they don't get enough compliments. And I, I do think that's where that kind of toxic mentality comes from. And I feel bad for you guys. I wish you got more compliments. And if I could, I would compliment you all and make it genuine. <laughs> and, like look at you and pick something out that I like. Women are just taught to be so much more complimentary. And I think a lot of men can't differentiate between just being nice and like having an ulterior motive. So they attack each other for complimenting women. I like trains. Okay, David. <laughs> I love your videos. Desperate and skanky is so unique on here. Wow, thanks. You're so nice. Um, are we running a train? Ew. <laughs> What's your ideal partner? Um, somebody kind um, and calm because I have a tendency to get really scattered and eccentric. So um, what matches really well for me is someone who's very grounded and doesn't have their head in the clouds the same way that I do. Um, somebody who's more like observant and centered and can be like, hey, come back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hi, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> Um, yeah, someone asked about social media again. All my links are in my Instagram bio. I don't really use Twitter, um, but that is linked there as well in case you want to follow it, in case someday I remember Twitter exists. I honestly only get there to like retweet something ratchet, like probably three or four times a year. Um, but I use Instagram every day and then obviously I have other stuff too. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. I'm thirty, <laughs> actually. <laughs> you look like Anne Hathaway. That's so crazy. People say that on here a lot, but I never get that in real life. So I wonder if somehow. I'm not using a filter, but I wonder if somehow like a kind of a lower re resolution representation of me looks like Anne Hathaway. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think I look like Anne Hathaway. And when I tell people in person, oh, people say I look like Anne Hathaway. They're like, I don't see that. So I don't know. What the, I don't know. No idea. But I do like Anne Hathaway. So that's a compliment as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> what's going on here i don't know i was just trying to do some stuff on my computer and then the chat popped off so i'm trying to keep up with it <laughs> hi everyone's being nice today which i really appreciate well not everyone um someone did call me disgusting earlier but no i don't go live on instagram but i do use instagram every day and it is linked here um, yeah, all the rest of my links are also in my Instagram bio. You look 20. I absolutely do not look 20, but thank you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I think I look my age, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I find people in their 30s very attractive. Whiskey, says Whiskey Bill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I really do like whiskey. Wow, I wonder what your goal is with that outfit. Wow, I wonder what your goal is with that comment. You have a very gentle voice. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder why so many people are here. Wow, you're so astute. Pointing out that I have cleavage. You're only getting views for one reason. Why is it getting so hateful all of a sudden? We're on a roll. Everyone is being so nice. <laughs> Look very good to be 30. Thank you. Um, 
I, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you seem like a cool person, thanks. Trolls want attention too. Yeah, I'm trying to give all of the nice comments attention. Do you have any kids? No, I don't have children. I don't want any children. Aloha from Hawaii. What is your natural hair color? This is my natural hair color. <laughs> Fit check. Oh, I'm just, I'm just in my comfy clothes today. Love the way you look and your voice. Thank you. Sad guys say sad things. I hope that anyone who is having a really bad time and feels the need to lash out um, out of loneliness, I hope that, that you seek help and that it gets better for you. I genuinely do. Because I've totally been there. I have said mean things to people on the internet because I was in a really bad place and I was projecting that onto others. And I just, I really feel for people who are in that place. It's very hard to pull yourself out of that. So I don't resent anyone for saying unkind things to me. Um, but I really do hope that they seek help. Um, I will say BetterHelp is the therapy that I use. It's all mobile. You can um, text your therapist, which I really like to do, and you can do phone sessions. It's good if you travel or if you don't want to leave the house. I was struggling um, with agoraphobia a couple years ago, so that really changed things for me. It's really cheap. Um, and if you comment on one of my videos, um, I can send you a code that'll get you two free weeks. Um, technically, I can give people one free week and then I get a week free, but um, you can click a little box that says give the other person my free week. So I can do that um, if you want, but you do have to commit, I think, to a month. So you, you still have to pay for it um, for the sake of transparency. But anyway, I highly recommend that. It's the cheapest therapy I've found. Um, I will say shop around a little bit for the right therapist for you. And everyone can benefit from therapy. There's nothing wrong with it. I wonder if you are truly happy in life. I am now, I am now. I will say I had a really rough last couple years, a really, a really hard time. Um, but I, <laughs> can you do a 360? Um, I've done a lot of healing and I'm doing a lot better. I'm much happier now. I'm definitely a happy person. <laughs> All my TikTok ads are BetterHelp. Mine too, which is so weird because I use BetterHelp. You would think they would kind of have like a little toggle switch, like don't advertise to people who already have this. You know what I mean? Rough couple of years is 100% right. Yeah, I almost feel kind of bad complaining because I'm like, I'm sure everyone has had a rough couple years. But at the same time, maybe it's helpful to know it's not just you, you know? Um, at least for me, that's helpful. You are wise for your age. Well, I'm 30, but thank you. Um, I, I should hope I have some of my shit together by now. <laughs> I've had a little while, huh? Your smile is intoxicating. Thank you. That's, oh, that's such a nice word. It's a good vocab word. Glad to hear that. I'm 47. <laughs> Seem comfortable in your skin. Yeah, I do have an oily skin type, which I would change, but... <laughs> you look amazing for 30. Thank you so much. Um, I stay hydrated and I don't have children. <laughs> That's actually probably the main thing. That smile is a ray of sunshine, surely provided light to my dark day. Thank you. Oh my god, thank 